The chief constable of West Yorkshire has been suspended as part of an investigation into the awarding of a number of PSNI vehicle contracts. Our reporter Judith Hill is here. What's the background to this suspension? Well, Paul, this is an ongoing story and centres on, as you say, the awarding of police vehicle contracts. So far, seven people have been arrested and questioned over a whole range of offences, including bribery and misconduct in public office. Then tonight came the news that the Chief Constable of West Yorkshire Police, Mark Gilmore, has been suspended as the PSNI, his former force, investigate these allegations. Now, just to say, he's not one of the men who has been detained by police. He grew up in Belfast and he spent much of his career here and in the last a short time ago, the West Yorkshire Police and Crime Commissioner made the announcement that their Chief Constable had been suspended. This morning, uh, regrettably, I've taken the decision to suspend the Chief Constable of West Yorkshire, Mark Gilmore. The reason for this suspension is as a result of information I have received from the Police Service of Northern Ireland arising from an investigation announced by them earlier this week. I would like to stress that the suspension of the Chief Constable is a necessity in the public interest until the full facts have been established. I have also referred this matter to the Independent Police Complaints Commission. I sincerely hope that the PSNI investigation is concluded as quickly as possible in a way that could allow me to lift the suspension and Mr Gilmore return to his post and continue the vital work to ensure communities are safer and feel safer. Mark Gilmore isn't the only high profile name to be linked to this investigation. Well, that's right. A number of arrests were made earlier this week and among them, the former Assistant Chief Constable here, Duncan McCausland. Now, he was released from Antrim Serious Crime Suite last night and a report will be sent to the Public Prosecution Service and he denies any wrongdoing. But as this investigation continues, a 71-year-old man who was arrested in County Down yesterday, he remains in police custody tonight. And the fallout from this story is set to continue as this PSNI investigation is carried out. Judith Hill, thank you.